Hello students, myself Professor Ejje Gadak. Today we are going to learn a very interesting, colorful and beautiful physics phenomenon that is interference. Okay, but before going in detail of the topic or uh, for going to the definition, we are going to see a few examples of interference from nature. So first example is of blue morpho butterfly. This blue morpho butterfly is of intense blue color. And this butterfly is found in tropical forest of Latin America. Okay, this butterfly has intense blue color is not because of the organic color. It is not because of, because of the uh, pigmentation. It is just because of the interference of light. Because the upper surface of the wings of butterfly is made from the uh, nanostructures. And when light reflects from these nanostructures, only blue, uh, blue color is attending the conditions of constructive interference that's why only that color is appeared on the wings and remaining colors are absent because all those colors are obtaining the conditions of destructive interference so this is a one best example of interference from nature and you can see the butterfly on the screen okay the next example is soap bubble in your childhood you might have played with soap bubbles and you observe that soap bubbles are spherical, soap bubbles are made from transparent material, soap bubbles are made from the thin film of soap solution. But if you observe them closely, then you find that there are few colors present on the soap bubble. Why only few colors? When white light falls on the soap bubble, white is a mixture of seven colors. And when light reflects from top and bottom surface of the film of soap bubble, only few colors are attending the conditions of constructive interference and that's why those are, mm, those are present and remaining colors are not attending the constructive interference condition, that's why they are absent. Okay, then next example is uh, interference of water waves. Interference of water waves. Uh, water wave, you are familiar with it. Water waves are formed uh, after the distur uh, disturbance. Uh, created on the water surface disturbance causes the production of wave but if we tap the water surface at two different point at the same time what will happen every point will generate waves waves travel outward and some portion of the waves that portion is traveling uh, towards each other will get mixed and will get the mixed pattern of waves and that is nothing but the interference okay then the next example is color patch on the wet road in rainy season when rainy season is there and we are walking on road we see the colorful patch on the wet road it is because of the oil film deposited on the wet road and that thin oil film causes the interference because when sunlight falls on that oil film and when it reflects from top and bottom surfaces colors wavelength are attending uh, constructive interference those are visible remaining are upset so these are some beautiful examples of interference in nature now let's move forward let's study the definition of interference so interference is nothing but the redistribution of intensity of light due to superposition of two or more waves so there is a superposition of two or more waves that's why interference is occur okay so we have to study what is superposition what is superposition principle in superposition principle two waves two or more waves meeting each other in the medium at same time and the resultant wave is generated that resultant wave has an amplitude which is algebraic sum of the amplitude of individual waves okay you can see on the screen the small uh, small animation of superposition principle okay now let's see the types of interference there are two types of interference first one is constructive interference another one is destructive interference in constructive interference crest of one wave superimposed over the crest of another wave or we can say the drop of one wave is superimposed over the drop of another wave and we get the resultant wave having 
the, uh, the amplitude which is the addition of two amplitudes of integer waves. Okay, so in constructive interference, intensity increases. Am I right? Now let's see the destructive interference. What happens in destructive interference? The intensity of light decreases. Or if the uh, amplitude of two waves are uh, equal, and when two waves are meeting each other out of phase, that time we get nothing at the resultant. Means there is a zero intensity of resultant wave. Because in destructive interference, crest of one wave is superimposed over the trub of another wave. Okay. So when waves are out of phase, that time we get destructive interference. When, no, when waves are in phase, that time we get constructive interference. Now let's see the applications of interference in engineering or in technology. That's why we are studying uh, this interference in engineering. What are the applications? The first application is anti-reflecting coating. So anti-reflecting coating is made on the uh, lenses of cameras, lenses of spectacles, uh, windshields of car. Okay, what is the uh, function of anti-reflecting coating? Because anti-reflecting coatings are reducing the intensity of reflective light. Okay, uh, for example, uh, when we are taking photograph of a person uh, wearing spectacles and uh, not having a anti-reflecting coating on the spectacles, that time we see the reflection on the glass of a person, of camera flash. But if the person is wearing that anti-reflecting glass, then we don't see any uh, reflection from the glass of spectacle. Okay, to get clear resolution, anti-reflecting coating is made for the uh, lenses and over the uh, glasses. Second example is to test the optical flatness of objects. In many uh, situation we have uh, we want to uh, we want a completely optical flat surface of object but how can we check that? How can we check that? So that is checked by placing optical flat surface uh, by making a particular angle with the test piece we get wedge shape film and we are getting the fringes we are getting the fringes or if the fringes are equidistant parallel to each other then we can say the test piece is optically flat but if we are getting fringes uh, in disturbed manners or not straight or curved we can say the test piece is not optically flat so these are some applications thank you so much